up, what up, what up, everybody? My name is Omar. I'm going to be taking you on a little journey today. This past couple of weeks, I've been searching for artists all over India and found a bunch of them who I really, really love. So I'm going to feature a lot of their music today. Hope you all enjoy. Yup. This is your first time listening to the show then welcome welcome for everyone that's been listening listening to my music listening to my mixes hitting me up on instagram showing love all my friends hitting me up giving me feedback i just want to let you know i really really appreciate you we're gonna keep it going here Stay tuned at the end. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background about who I am. I realize that I've actually never properly introduced myself to you all. So I'm going to spend some time at the end doing that. शिवाय इतिहास घड़त नहीं Jane de jane de tane de jo bhi rakh bhi jane de 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 j
नहीं ये नोट और है कोई चोरी नहीं कोई चोरी नहीं नए हो पहिए मोटे गाड़ी छोटी नहीं एक बड़ी छत बंदी की लोड है नहीं कोई लोड है नहीं नहीं बस चाहिए नोट और है कोई चोरी नहीं कोई चोरी नहीं नहीं झूले तू चांद अगर चाहे तो दूर है तू बांध कर पाया तो क्या हुआ क्या हुआ एक दो दिन फुल का नहीं खाया तो दे भी तू ताली जमाने को छे भी क्यों खाली कमाने दो भेजे में बात ही तू है गिरा पैसा 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 आने दो सालों पहले बांटो ज्ञान का कुछ सालों पहले बांटो ज्ञान तब सालों पहले बांटो ज्ञान का कुछ पालो पहले बाटो ज्ञान तब ए जाने दे जाने दे जा 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 जाने दे जाने दे जा 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 जाने दे जाने दे जा 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 जाने दे जाने दे ताने दे जो भी रख भेजे मैं रोके नहीं सकता कोई जाने दे जाने दे जा जा जाने दे ताने दे जा जा जाने दे जाने दे जा जा जाने दे ताने दे जो भी जा जाने दे जाने दे जा जा जाने दे ताने दे जा जा जाने दे जाने दे ताने दे जो भी रख भेजे मैं रोके नहीं सकता कोई चलता रह चलता रह जाने दे टोके नहीं सकता कोई जाने से नहीं नहीं चलता रह चमका के चमचों को रोके नहीं सकता कोई जाने से नहीं नहीं सरता तू फलता नहीं पड़ता ना फरक हूँ बढ़ता मैं जनता भी सही सही चलता तो ढलता रह कल का तू चलता मैं रोके नहीं सकता कोई अब सारे कहें शाबाश जो कुछ महीने पहले रहते हमसे हताश थे तुस्तूरे क्या है ये है प्रकृति का इलाज क्योंकि अब फर्क ना पड़े क्या सोचे हमें समाज हाँ सीन अब बढ़ेगा प्रकृति की राह पे भाई अब चलेगा आ जेबे भरे जाचिए ब्रह्मांड से चांद नहीं चलेगा या चाह दिखाना है तुझे मैंने कि दुनिया में चीजें जिन्हें आजमाना चाहिए तुझे है ये दुनिया खजाना और रहे हैं सालों से कंगाल है ये जंजाल कंपनी खरीदे सरकार को कती है जनता कम से कम खुद को रख थोड़ा खुश जी अपने उसूलों पे हो जामो बस चलता रह चलता रह जो साले चाहे तू बने ना कुछ न चाहे दे
That last song was by an artist named Nurs, G-N-R-S. Makes a lot of dope Indian Bollywood flips. So sick, y'all gotta check them out.
This song is by my man Barry Main. His music is awesome. It just hits so hard. His beats are so clean. Dude, I really mess with you, man. Keep it up. I want a good diva, baby. Ooh, big pocket, hey. I'll do a man, 
So I promised y'all that I would give you an introduction to who I am. I realized that I've been making a lot of new friends along the way, meeting a lot of new people, and yeah, I, I haven't really introduced myself to y'all. So my name is Omar, Omar Ahmed. I was born in West Windsor, New Jersey. My mom is from South India. She grew up in Chennai, and my dad is from Pakistan. My parents both moved to America probably like 30 years ago, and they met in college, got married, and had me. So around the house while I was growing up, my parents would be playing a lot of different kinds of music. Since my mom being from Chennai and my dad being from Pakistan, I kind of got a blend of both. I, I got a lot of introduction into Kuali music. I, I remember my dad playing Nusrat Fatheli Khan in the car and I would just be like dancing and turning up to it. And my mom showed me a lot of Carnatic music. I went to a lot of Carnatic music concerts and saw people do improvisations and really, really awesome stuff. At the time, I didn't appreciate it so much, but I think it, it, it left a mark deep inside my soul. I started taking music seriously probably right before I moved to Atlanta. I was DJing a lot of different events, different college parties, different weddings, and what I realized was that I wanted to deepen as a producer, and I felt that's where my calling was. And so I spent a lot of time focused on producing and learning and really understanding what it took to make music and just practicing. And a lot of the music I made at first was pretty horrible. Um, and yeah, I kept I kept learning, kept growing, and I had the opportunity to move to Atlanta. And when I got there, I instantly fell in love, and it instantly fell in love with me. I felt like there was a mutual, like I was a missing puzzle piece there in Atlanta, and I just went and fit right in. I learned so much living there. I, I received so much love from the people there. It really shaped me musically and as a person. It was my first time living completely by myself in, an, in my own apartment. I had a lot of time to reflect and go within myself, go deep within myself and understand, start to understand who, who I was. So I moved to LA about five months ago and it was really tough for me to move here actually now that I'm remembering, it was really hard for me to make the decision to leave Atlanta just because a lot of stuff was popping off for me there too. Um, Atlanta shaped me in terms of a lot of what I learned in the sound. I was around a lot of trap music, soul, R&B, and yeah, it just, it just downloaded into me and I was already in that vibe anyway. That's the kind of music that I loved. I used to also listen to a lot of 50 Cent, uh, Jay-Z, Biggie, just like all kind, Young Jeezy, Usher, Ludacris, just like a bunch of hard <laughs> music that I probably should have, shouldn't have been listening to in middle school. But anyway, Atlanta resonated with me perfectly. It, it just resonated and aligned with me perfectly musically as well as, as personally. And that's why it was really difficult for me to move. But once I did, and once once I came out here and explored and saw what was going on here, and a lot of my music opportunities that I was pursuing were out here. And so just meeting a bunch of different people and having a lot of experiences, I, I decided to move here. And LA has always been the dream place of mine to live ever since I was a kid. I always wanted to be in California. And when I thought of California, I thought of what LA is, even though I didn't know it at the time. So now that I'm here, I feel like this is my time to really hone in and learn. And what I've realized and come to realize is I don't fully know my roots. I don't I don't know about my parents' life. I don't know about how they lived in Pakistan and India. I don't know about my family that I have there in India and Pakistan. I don't know too much about the Bollywood scene or the Bo I don't know too much about Indian music. There's so much of it that I feel like I've just scratched the surface. Not only that, I feel like there's so much I don't know about music from here. And just there's so much that I've been learning being here in LA and being being exposed to so many different types of of music and, and people and culture that it's been really eye opening for me. And I've I've learned a lot about myself so far. I've learned that 
this year is a, a year to start fresh and also this year is a year to build community community is something that i've come to really value friendships and relationships are things that i've recently come to really really value and this is why i'm making these mixes and this is why i am speaking to you all now it's not very easy for me to do this it doesn't come that easily to me and i think it'll take some time to loosen up and and talk to you guys freely but that is the point of this let me know let me know i would love to hear from you and would love to listen to music i would love for you all to show me music and teach me about places that you've been and things that you've seen like i said this is a year for me to learn this year in particular i really feel is a reset and a new beginning being out here in la being 2020 me feeling finally like i'm aligned with the purpose i'm feeling good about that so i appreciate all of you for listening sorry that this was kind of long um until next time love you all take care <laughs>